Heratols. In 1856, miners discovered some maestro's human fossils in a cave in the Neander Valley in Germany. The 40,000 years old fossils belonged to a thick bonnet, uh, heavy hominid, as from this video, uh, with a prominent brow. The hominid was given the name Homo uh, Neanderthals. Neanderthals is commonly called a Neanderthal. Uh, at one time, many Iberian philologists considered Neanderthal uh, to be a stage in the evolution of Homo erectus uh, into Homo sapiens. Now must uh, have abandoned uh, this view. Neanderthals appear to, uh, to have descended uh, from an earlier species, Homo um, uh, hidley uh, bergensis, uh, which originated in Africa about um, 600,000 years ago and then spread to Europe. Neanderthals, which appeared in Europe and uh, the Nili uh, East by uh, 200,000 years ago, had a brain as large as that of a present day humans and were capable uh, of making hunting tools from stone and wood. But despite their adaptations, uh, Neanderthals apparently become extinct. 30,000 years ago, uh, age contributing nothing to the gene pool of living humans. Evidence of the extinction of Neanderthals can be found in their DNA. Scientists excreted uh, fragments of DNA from fossils of four Neanderthals that lived at different times in different uh, uh, localities um, um, in Europe. They then compared the Neanderthal DNA with DNA of living humans from Europe, Africa, and Asia. Uh, if Neanderthals had given rise to European humans, uh, then both groups should share a common ancestor with other humans being more distantly related. Instead, the DNA analysis indicates that all of the Neanderthals uh, form a clade while living Europeans are more closely related to living Africans and Asians. Homo sapiens. Evidence from fossils, uh, archaeological relics, and DNA studies are, is beginning to uh, co uh, core into a, com a compelling uh, hypothesis about how our own species, Homo sapiens, emerged and spread, um, and spread uh, around the world. It is now clear that the ancestors of the humans originated in Africa, older species, perhaps H. ergastor or H. erectus, gave rise to newer species such as H. hildebergensis and ultimately H. sapiens. The oldest known fossils of our own species have been found at two different sites in Ethiopia and include specimens that are uh, 195,000 and 160,000 years old, as shown in this video. Uh, 160,000 years old fossils of Homo sapiens. Uh, this is skull discovered in Ethiopia um, in 23 uh, differs, differs little from the skulls of living humans. Uh, early humans lacked uh, the heavy uh, brow ridges of uh, H. erectus and Neanthalidex or Fulis, and were more slender than other hominids. The Ethiopian fossils uh, support uh, molecular evidence about the origin of humans, as we noted earlier. DNA analysis indicates that all living humans are more closely related to one another than uh, to uh, Neanderthals. Um, uh, other studies on human DNA shows, uh, show that Europeans and Asians uh, share a relatively recent common ancestor and that may many African lineages branched off more ancient positions uh, on the human family tree. These findings strongly suggest that all living humans have ancestors that originated as H. sapiens in Africa, which is further supported by analysis of mitochondrial DNA and uh, Y chromosome from members of various human populations. 
The old castles of H. sapiens outside Africa date back about uh, 50,000 years. Uh, studies of uh, human uh, Y chromosomes suggest that uh, humans spread uh, beyond Africa in one or more waves, uh, first into Asia and then to Europe and Australia. The date of the first arrival of humans in the New World is still a matter of debate, uh, debate over the oldest generally accepted evidence, both, uh, but date at uh, 15,000 years ago. Now finding continually uh, update uh, our understanding of the context of H. sapiens evolution. For example, in October 24, uh, Peter Brown of the University of New England in New South Wales, Australia, Thomas uh, Stukina of the Indonesia Center for um, Archaeology, and their colleagues reported as um, astonishing find uh, unearthed uh, in 23 the skeleton of an uh, adult uh, hominid dating from just uh, 18,000 years ago and representing a previously unknown species now named homo fluorescences uh, discovered in a limestone cave in the indonesian island of flores the individual was much shorter and had a much smaller brain volume uh, than H. sapiens more similar in fact to an sterolubithin, uh, however, the skeleton ha also displays many uh, derived traits, including skull uh, thickness and proportions and teeth shape. That suggests uh, it is descended from the larger uh, H. erectus. One intriguing, intriguing explanation of this species apparent shrink age is that isolation on the island may have resulted in selection for greatly reduced size. Such a dramatic size redu reduction is well studied in another dwarf, uh, dwarf mammalian species uh, in Edmic uh, to islands. These include uh, primitive uh, pygmy elephants uh, found in the same vicinity as the H. fluorescence uh, specimen. Compelling questions that may yet be answered from uh, the cache of Anthropological originated where, whether its members used tools and whether they ever encountered H. sapiens with coexisted in Indonesia during the late uh, below um, uh, Blasticine uh, Blasticine uh, period. The rapid expansion of our species and the replacement of Neandra um, Thules may have been uh, spurred by the evolution of a human cognition as H. sapiens evolved in Africa. Although Neanderthalus uh, 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 may have, uh, or uh, and other hominids were able to produce sophisticated tools, they showed little creativity and not much capability for symbolic thought, as far as we can tell. In contrast, researchers are beginning to find evidence for more sophisticated thought as H. sapiens evolved. For example, in 22, um, researchers reported uh, the discovery in South Africa of 77,000 years old uh, art uh, geometric uh, markings made on species of um, Eastern Africa found 75,000 years old ostrich eggs and snail shells uh, with uh, holes uh, neatly uh, drilled uh, through them by uh, 36,000 years or, uh, ago. Humans were producing spectacular uh, cave paintings. Uh, symbolic thought may have emerged along with full bro uh, brown uh, human language both. Uh, may have uh, raised the survival and reproductive fitness of humans by allowing them to construct new tools and teach others how to build them long-range trade for scarce resources also become possible as the population in africa rose population pressures may have driven uh, humans in africa uh, in, in drive driving humans to migrate into asia and then europe uh, Neanderthals uh, Neander may have been driven to extinction by the combined stresses uh, of the last a a ice age and competition from newly arrived humans.
uh, clues to a cognitive uh, transformation of humans can be found in the human genome as well as in uh, archaeological sites um, gene known as FOXP2 was identified in 21 as essential for human language people who inherit um, mutated versions of the gene suffer from a range of language uh, impediments uh, and have reduced activity in a uh, broadcast area in the brain. In 22 genetists or genetists uh, compared the FOXP2 gene in humans with the homolox gene in other mammals. They concluded that the gene experienced intense natural selection after the ancestors of humans and chimpanzees uh, diverged by comparing mutations in flanking regions of the gene. The researchers estimated that this about the natural selection acquired within the past 200,000 years. Of course, uh, the human capacity of language involves uh, many regions of the brain, and it's almost certain that many other genes are essential for language, but the evolutionary change in FOXP2 may be the first genetic clues to uh, to clues as um, to how our own species came to play its unique role in the world. Our discussion of humans brings this unit of chapters on biological diversity to an end. But